Do you want to look cool in Elden Ring? Are you one of the type of players that don't care about the stats of your armor almost at all, you just want to look cool? If that is the case, then this is the video for you. If you're anything like me, I just want to look the coolest as possible. Now if I'm getting absolutely stomped by a boss, then maybe I'll get desperate and I'll put on an outfit that will give me better stats. But if I'm just free roaming in the environment and I'm going around exploring, I just want to look as cool as possible. And a lot of the armor sets in this game do look pretty cool. But I've actually found that a lot of mixing and matching of the armor pieces can actually make some pretty cool looking combinations. If you guys enjoy this video, then maybe I can make a series out of it because I really enjoy all the different fashion that is in Elden Ring. But let's go ahead and get into the first thing I want to showcase. And the first thing I want to show you guys is the Tree Sentinel armor. But it's not just the Tree Sentinel armor, it's the Tree Sentinel armor with the Lindell Knight helmet. Now if you guys have the Tree Sentinel armor, and if you're anything like me, I think the tree sentinel helmet just looks goofy. I don't like the tree that is on the helmet. It's just distracting and I don't know, I'm not a big fan of it. So I found that the Lindell Knight helmet actually matches pretty well with the tree sentinel armor. It's the same color so it blends in almost perfectly. So if you guys want to change up the look of your tree sentinel armor, I feel like this helmet is a good choice. I also found that the iron helmet and the Radon soldier helmet also kind of go okay with it. It doesn't match the color exactly but in certain lighting and if you're looking from behind the Radon soldier helmet actually does look like it matches so I think the Radon soldier helmet does a good job of pairing with this armor set and then I also found that the bull goat helmet actually does a good job of pairing with it too the gold and the black sort of goes along with the shoulder pieces and I think it looks kind of cool. So to get the tree sentinel armor, you need to go to the, uh, looks like a Rises hero grave, and you need to destroy the chariots that are going up and down in the grave. And if you want to get the bull goat helmet, you need to complete the quest line for the Volcano Manor, and you just do their bounties. And if you want to get the Lindell Knight helmet, you just have to farm the Lindell Knights. One of them you can find near this side of Grace, and you just go and you kill him over and over and over again. So moving on to the next armor piece that I feel like a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy is the Zamor bracelets. Now the Zamor armor set in itself actually looks pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the mask, but what's so cool about the bracelets is that the bracelets actually match with a lot of different armor sets in this game. Now when you put on these bracelets, they actually have this chain that dangles from them and I think that just looks really really cool so if you have these equipped and you don't like the looks of some of the different gloves and stuff that are in this game you can put on these bracelets and you'll have this little chain dangling from your wrist on every single outfit so these are really good at mixing and matching and pairing with different outfits these go really well with robes they go really well with anything that has a cape and it just adds more to your overall look. And this piece is pretty unique. There's not very many other pieces that do this. And depending on the outfit, you'll actually get some arm wraps. So if you use the champion outfit, for example, your arms will be completely wrapped up. And I think it just looks really, really cool. So I highly recommend that you get the Zamor bracelets. Now to get the Zamor armor set, you actually need to go up to the giant conquering hero's grave up in the snowy area, and you just need to complete the cave and you will find the armor set. So next up, I want to show off Ronin's armor. This is one of my favorite armor sets in the entire game. Now this is supposed to be like a samurai looking armor, but it's got this really cool cape and I, I just love the look of this. It looks so good. And one of the things I love so much about this armor set is that you can mix and match pretty much any helmet with it. Now I don't like the default helmet that comes with it. It just looks big and goofy. So I like to mix and match pretty much any silver or iron looking helmet, they all sort of go really well with this outfit. Uh, so if you want a really cool samurai inspired outfit with a cool cape that goes well with pretty much any helmet or hood in the game, then I highly recommend that you guys get the Ronin outfit. Now to get this outfit, you actually have to go up to the snowy area, you go up to the Zamor ruins, and when you get up here, there should be an NPC pretty much standing right beside the Grace, and you basically just have to kill him, and you will get the armor set. So next up, I want to showcase the Red Mane Surcoat. Now this is just an outfit that are used by Radon soldiers, and I think this just looks really cool. If you want a medieval knight sort of feel, I feel like this is one of the best outfits in all of Elden Ring. It works so well with so many different helmets. You can wear the chainmail, you can wear an iron helmet, you can wear the Radon soldier helmet, you can put different hoods that match. Most of the helmets in the game, I feel, pair pretty well with this outfit. My favorite helmet for this look is in fact the Great Helm helmet. I feel like it just brings the whole look together 
And, you know, this is one of my favorite outfits in the game when it comes to looking like a medieval soldier. So if you really want to pull off that medieval knight look, I highly recommend you guys get this red mane surcoat. Now to get this armor, you actually have to go to Fort Gale. And when you're here, just farm all the enemies, just kill them over and over and over and you will get this outfit. So next up, I want to showcase the exile armor. Now the exile armor I found is really, really cool because it actually matches with a lot of different helmet combinations. Now what I really like about this outfit is that when you put on different helmets, the scarf that comes on the outfit will sort of mold itself around some of the helmets. So some of the helmets, the scarf will be beneath it, but then some of the helmets, the scarf will go up around the eyes and it looks like you're trying to be mysterious and I think that's just really neat. This is one of the few armor pieces in the game that actually changes depending on what you're wearing. So yeah, with this outfit, you can just sort of mix and match with different helmets, see which ones use the scarf, see which ones don't use the scarf. Uh, and I think it's just really neat to just mix and match different outfits with this exile armor. Now to get the exile armor, all you have to do is go to the Stormvale Castle. It's like the first big area in the game. You go here and I go to the Rampart Tower and you spawn here and there's some exiled soldiers just right around the corner and you can just farm them over and over and over and they will drop the outfit. So next up, I'm showcasing the Elden Lord armor. Now you get this towards the very end of the game after beating one of the final bosses. But what I'm showcasing here isn't the Elden Armor itself because I'm not a fan of the hat. The hat is just a wig and it's just this big thing of hair and I think it looks ugly. So I'm actually showing off the Black Flame Monk Hood. I feel like the Black Flame Monk Hood goes well with so many different outfits. But here the Black Flame Monk Hood is my favorite pairing it with the Elden Lord Armor. I feel like it kind of matches, especially when you're looking from behind. Uh, I just really, really love this look. I've been using this for a lot of my playthrough. And the Black Flame Monk Hood goes so well with so many of the different outfits. Anything that has a cape, I feel like this hood does a good job of pairing with. And if you guys just want a hood that is pretty much universal with a lot of different outfits, you can find this by going to one of the Divine Towers. And you actually want to go here and you go down into the basement. And at the very bottom of the basement, there is a Black Flame Monk. And you can just respawn there and you farm this monk just over and over and over. And that is how you get the full armor set. So next up, I'm showing off the Hoslo's armor. Now this armor set you actually get from completing the entire Volcano Manor quest line. You have to complete all the bounties for the Volcano Manor. And then towards the end, the final bounty will drop this armor set. Now I really, really love the look of this armor set. I'm not the biggest fan of the helmet. I do like the horns that come on the helmet, but I don't like the big sort of floofy, fluffy stuff that's on the helmet. I think it looks kind of dorky. So what I like to do with this armor set is I actually use the Carrion Knight helmet. I feel like the silver on that helmet goes really well with this armor set, especially from behind. It just looks really cool. And yeah, if you want a cool looking armor set with a better looking helmet or an alternative to the helmet that comes with it, I feel like this is a good option. And you can find this helmet located at the Academy. As you're going through the academy for the first time and you're coming across the graveyard it is hidden in that graveyard so next up i'm showing off the confessor outfit now i really really love the look of this confessor outfit i'm actually showing off the alternate version of the hood now i really like this outfit because of the cape i really love the black cape black matches so well with pretty much anything so almost any helmet you can find in the game is going to go well with this cape the silver helmets the gold helmets the bronze helmets the black helmets the hoods almost anything Thing you can find is going to match with this cape and that's why I love this outfit so much it just goes great with everything and once you get the hood the altered version of the hood I feel like goes so well with so many of the different outfits in this game too as you can see it matches with pretty much anything especially from behind I feel like it's just a great alternative to having a helmet so I highly recommend you guys get the confessor outfit and you can find the confessor outfit up here up in the volcano region up in this exact spot you will find find a merchant and you just go to the merchant and you can buy it from him. So up next, I'm showcasing the Banished Knight helmet. Now this helmet I think is really, really cool because it matches with so many different outfits and it sort of has this like scarf around the helmet and this scarf can droop over the back of certain armors and make it look like a little mini cape or a half cape. And it can also combine with outfits that have capes. 
So you sort of have like a scarf and a cape at the same time, so that's kind of neat. So if you have an outfit that doesn't have a cape and you just want to have a half cape, I highly recommend you guys go out and you get this helmet. And to get this helmet, you have to farm these banished knights. Now you can get this at the Cathedral of the Dragon Communication, and there is a banished knight that just spawns walking around this little building, and you just basically just farm him over and over and over, and you can get the helmet. So next up, I'm showing you guys the Gelmir or the Gilmir Knight outfit. Now this outfit, I think, is really awesome. I really love the cape and the shoulders on this outfit. I think it just looks really, really neat. It's a great knight-looking outfit. It pairs pretty well with pretty much any knight-looking helmet. So if you guys want to mix and match, and if you want to have this really cool-looking cape and really cool shoulders with a medieval kind of vibe, all the helmets look great with this outfit. And you can find this complete outfit at the Gilmir Hero's Grave. Just go into this cave, clear it, explore every nook and cranny, and you're bound to find this armor set. So the final piece of armor that I'm going to talk about in today's video is the Great Helmet. Now to get the Great Helm, you have to go down to this area and you will find a merchant in this exact spot. Just buy it from this merchant. I'm pretty sure this is the only location you can get this helmet in the game. And what's so cool about this helmet is that it doesn't have an armor set. It is just a standalone piece. And this helmet looks great with almost every outfit in the entire game. This helmet looks so good. It just matches everything. It just makes you look like a medieval knight. And it looks good from behind. It looks good from the front. It, I mean, it looks good from all angles. It really pulls a lot of looks together. And yeah, I mean, I highly recommend you guys go out and get this helmet. Now that is going to do it for all the armor I'm showcasing in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you guys like it, then I will showcase tons of different armors in the future. I know there's a lot of people that play as mages or play with like lighter builds where they're only using like cloaks and stuff so I can make a video on that if you guys like. Today's video is just showcasing a bunch of different like beefier heavier armor sets but let me know down below. If you guys are new here hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and that is going to do it for me everyone and I will talk to you all in the next video.